Okay, to get started, I'm going to go ahead and use my ColourPop Rose Quartz Misting Spray. It has little crystals in it, and it's supposed to just prime the skin and make it look nice and radiant. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. It looks just like this. For my primer today, I am using the Flower Beauty Perfecting Primer. I've been loving this because it really helps to blur out any pores and it gives me nice dewy skin at the same time without making me feel oily. So that is what I'm using today. And then applying that all over the T-zone area. Foundation today, I'm gonna to be using the Super Stay Better Skin Foundation from Maybelline. I've been loving this recently. It really is a perfect match to my skin tone and it works wonders for oily skin. So that is what I'm using today. I am in the shade Soft Tan and it matches me perfectly. I'm also gonna be using the Revolution Luminous Gold Drops and I'm gonna go ahead and mix these two together to give myself that nice luminous glow um, and we mix it in with our foundation. And then taking your beauty blender, just dab it in. What I love about this foundation is that it still allows your skin to look like skin. So I can still see my freckles, but you can also build it up if you want to have that full coverage effect. So I know I have been gone for a little while. I haven't been posting as often and it's been a hot minute since my last video. Um, I've just been really busy in the last few months. A lot has changed. I switched jobs, you know, personal stuff and life, honestly. So um, I just decided I wanted to jump on here today and make a video. I miss being in front of the camera and just creating fun tutorials. So I'm just doing a simple, just get ready with me kind of situation. Okay, so moving on to my concealer. I'm gonna be going in with the Revolution Concealer. Mine is in the shade C7, and it looks just like this. And this truly does remind you of the Tarte Shape Tape. If you like that one, you will definitely like this one, and it is a more affordable route. Um, it gives you really nice coverage, and it really does blend out nicely as well. So I have been loving this concealer recently. And then I'm blending it out with my beauty sponge. my LA Girl Pro Conceal in Beautiful Bronze. I'm gonna go ahead and warm up the perimeters of my face just to enhance that natural glow and tan um, so we're not looking super flat on our face. To blend out our contour, I'm just going to go ahead and use my e.l.f. stippling brush and I'm just going to go ahead and spray a little bit of the ColourPop spritz on there just to give it a little bit of moisture so that it is easy to blend out. guys do anything fun this summer i feel like it literally flew by we're gonna be here in fall pretty much soon and next thing you know we're gonna be rushing into the holiday season i'm not a big fan of the holiday season i know it's kind of crazy because everybody is about the holiday season i don't know why i've just never been super into it but i don't really mind it i guess 
but I am excited to create some YouTube videos. I am ready for the dark, vampy lips, all of that jazz, the clothing, the fashion. So cute. And then for my nose contour, I just get a small angled brush and I just blend that out. And then just to clean up a little bit, I'm gonna go back in with my beauty blender and I'm just gonna go ahead and go over that to make sure everything is nice and merged together. Taking my Airspun Loose Setting Powder in Natural, I'm gonna go ahead and use a dome fluffy brush and set underneath my eyes and anywhere that I applied the, the concealer. And I like to take a decent amount, nothing too intense, and then just dab it underneath. Taking some on the chin and on the side of my cheeks right here because this is where I get oily so you want to make sure that you set that in place to make sure your makeup doesn't budge throughout the day. To set that contour in place I'm going to go ahead and bronze my face using the Milani Soleil bronzer. It is in the shade 5 and I'm just going to go ahead and place this in the areas where we contour just to set that in place. Going in with a soft hand. I don't want it to be like an intense bronze. I want it to just match the rest of my body. Add a little more definition onto the cheeks and chisel them out a little bit. I'm going to be taking um, the Morphe bronzer called Debutante and I'm just going to go ahead and place this on the hollows of my cheekbones, like I said, just to define them a little bit more. And then to chisel this out a little bit and clean it up, I'm going to go in with a little bit of the translucent powder and the back end of my sponge and I'm just going to go ahead and clean that up. And when you do this step, make sure you guys don't get like a super white translucent powder just because then it leaves like a white cast on your face and that looks like that's really not cute. So you want to make sure that it is a nice translucent shade but it's not like like a yellowy or like a natural but you don't want to go in with white for brows today i'm going to go in with the maybelline total temptation brow pencil this is in deep brown i'm going to go ahead and do this off of camera just because it takes me a little while and i have to get really close to the mirror but i will be right back Okay, you guys, so my brows are done. We're going to go ahead and move on to the eyes. I'm going to go ahead and do just like a regular daytime simple eye look. Um, so for today, I'm going to be taking the Jaclyn Hill palette, and I'm just going to go ahead and go in with neutrals and possibly like a bronzy, shimmery shade. So we'll see what we come up with. Okay, so for my transition shade, I'm going to be taking this color right here. I'm sorry, I don't have the names, <laughs> um, but I will go ahead and put everything in the description bar down below. But I'm going to be using this color right here to put in my crease. And I'm just going to be messy with it, nothing specific. I just want to put a nice wash of color before going in with the rest of the shade. So just place this from inner to outer and deepen it up a little bit so that we can go ahead and have a nice transition shade and then when you get towards the end here just make sure you flick it out so that you don't end up with like a super round um eye look i like doing this because it accentuates the eyes and makes them look a little bit more, more sultry so it's taking the shade right next to it it's like a peachier shade and i'm just gonna go ahead and start warming it up again just layering it on top of that other color that we just placed on the crease
going in with this color right here. It's like a pukey brown color and I actually think it is called pukey. I'm gonna grab a different brush. This is the Morphe M433. And I'm just gonna place this a little bit lower than um, where we placed that color previously just to start adding a little bit more dimension onto our eye and the crease. exploring a little bit more and putting different content out. I just suck at ideas sometimes. So if you guys have any suggestions, make sure you guys let me know in the comments down below. That way I'm aware of it and you know, I can give you guys something that you guys want to watch instead of just like makeup tutorials or whatnot. So I do want this to be a daytime wearable eye look, so I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of shimmer onto the center of the eye. Um, I'm going to be going in with this bronzy shade right here, and I'm just going to be placing that with my finger. Um, I feel like sometimes applying shimmers onto the eyelids works best with your finger. So I'm just patting this in, and then we're going to go ahead and blend it out with a fluffy brush. And then going back in with the M433 Morphe brush, I'm just going to go ahead and soften up any harsh edges. There isn't any product on this brush um, that I picked up. I'm just going in and cleaning it up. In any bone color shadow, just go ahead and place that right underneath the brow bone just to accentuate this area right here. We do want this to pop just because as you can see over on this side, it just kind of fades with that transition color. So you want to make sure you bring that back out. So as you can tell, I already went ahead and did this eye off of camera. All I did was just take a brown eyeliner, mine is from Tarte, and I just did a nice smoky wing. I am going in with a little bit of eyeshadow after just to continue to soften it, just because I do want to keep this look very daytime and subtle and wearable. Um, I didn't use any black liquid liner this time just because I feel like that, that would be too intense and too bold. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on this eye. And then to smoke it out, I'm gonna take an angled brush just like this. Mine is very little and precise. I'm gonna tap into a little bit of dark shadow, so a dark brown would work. And I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to smudge that out. And then for the waterline, I'm just gonna go in with the same shades that I did on the top and just really blow out that lower lash line. Taking a flat definer brush just like this one, I'm going to go ahead and stamp on a little bit of a darker brown just on the outer corner of the eye just to really tie this look together. And then going back in with a pencil brush, I'm gonna just going to go ahead and blend that out. To finish up the eyes, I'm going to go in with this color right here in the palette and I'm just going to go ahead and lightly place that in the inner corner of my eyes just to really call attention and open up the eye a little bit. I like me a good inner corner highlight. Just loop right there. So for a blush today, I'm going to be using the Flower Beauty Powder blush. This is in Peach Primrose. It's a very nice peachy summery shade and I am obsessed with it. So I'm just going to go ahead and smile and place this on the apples of my cheeks.
So for my highlight today, I'm going to be using two separate ones to doing two separate things. The first one that I'm going to be using is the Milani Highlight and Strobe Light. I'm just going to go in with a stippling brush like this, and I'm just going to go ahead and lightly place this all over my face for an all over glow, just everywhere where you naturally would highlight. This just adds a nice radiant glow from within. And then to really intensify our highlight, we're gonna be going in with the Morphe Spark Highlight. And I'm gonna be using a fan brush. And then I'm just gonna be more precise with this one. I'm just gonna be directly placing it on the high points of my face to really beam. my finger I'm just gonna go ahead and place that on the tip of the nose because you need a good nose highlight oh she is highlighted to finish up the eyes I'm gonna go in and do a mascara at this point feel free to do your falsies if that's what you're into as you've seen in my previous videos I always let you guys know I don't do falsies but you're more than welcome to do it at this point in time. I'm gonna go in and finish up the eyes by doing my mascara and I will be right back. Okay, so mascara is on. I went ahead and applied a generous amount on the top and lower lash line. I did apply a little bit of that brown liner on the lower waterline just to really make this a smoky brown eye kind of daytime look. And um, now I'm going to go in and set my brows using my usual, the M Maybelline Brow Precise. And I'm just going to go ahead and set my brows before I forget. Sometimes I tend to leave the house without doing this step. And this step is everything. So make sure you guys set your brows. And we want to give us that nice, full, but bushy kind of brow look. Well, as bushy as I can get mine because I really don't have naturally any like hair, honestly. Um, so just make sure you're pushing them upward when you are setting these bad boys. For lips today, I want to do something different. I don't want to do like a neutral. Um, this is still kind of neutral, but it has a pop of color. So this is the NYX Lingerie in the shade Exotic. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply this onto the lips. I am going to line my lips using the just like a nude lip liner. I just feel like it makes a difference. with my lippy it's literally the prettiest daytime shade I love I'm gonna apply a little bit of gloss over top just because I want to make my lips look a little more pouty and this is the NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline. And then last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and lock this baby up in place. I'm taking my Revolution Pro Fix Oil Control Setting Spray. And oh my God, you guys, when I say this is oil control, I literally think this is the best, like, affordable one. I think it's like six or eight dollars. Um, at Ulta and it is amazing. I love it for everyday use. It keeps me from getting oily So I'm gonna go ahead and drench myself in this 
so yeah you guys this finalizes this makeup tutorial I definitely am in it for this look it is definitely very wearable very youthful and very everyday I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys have not subscribed yet make sure you guys subscribe before leaving this tutorial and give this video a thumbs up leave any comments down below and I will see you guys in my next tutorial